Hi, today we'll, we will be talking about the stellar parallax. Not just the parallax effect, but the variant, a stellar parallax, used to calculate how far stars are away. This will be narrated by Michael Paris, Aaron Arunasan, and Louis Kubiktin. Now, let's say it's a summer evening, and you're looking up at the night sky. All those stars are there before you, and then you notice a really, really bright one. Now, you know if it's moving towards you or away from you using red or blue shifts, like we learned in uh, science lessons previously. But then, you might wonder to yourself, how far is it? How far away is this star? Like, how do scientists calculate this? Well, the answer for you is that they use a tool called the parallax effect. Now, we'll be understanding briefly what exactly a parallax is. First of all, a parallax is the difference in the apparent position of an object viewed from two different lines of sight. In layman's terms, it's how we basically view a stationary object from two locations. Now, if you don't get it right now, on our next slide we will show you a video of what a parallax is. Hello, I'm Lewis, and this is Michael, and today we're going to show you what a parallax is in the video format. As said before, uh, a parallax is the apparent change in a fixed object when viewing from different vantage points. So let's take for example, if Michael won't move at all, but if I were to move this way, it would seem as though Michael is in one position, and if I move this way, we see Michael is in the other, but Michael hasn't moved. This effect is called the parallax. Alright, now that you've seen a video of how and what a parallax is, here is a picture of a stellar parallax. Now, here we have four points, A, B, 1, and 2. What, points 1 and 2 are the apparent or position of Earth six months away from each other, so they're on opposite sides of the sun. This big star in the middle is a star and where it is really located. Point A is where we see the star from point 2, and point B is where we see the star from point 1. But the fact remains that the star in the middle has not moved. Oh. Now, let's take a look at how we use a stellar parallax. Now, take it here. Remember, this is only to calculate how far a parallax is away from Earth. Not from Earth, but from the solar system. Now, the yellow ball over here is the sun. And this red ball over here is the star that we want to calculate its distance. Or, as we will call it in this video, distance x. This little blue ball right here is the position of Earth. 1 AU, or astronomical unit, away from the sun. Now, to use this parallax effect, or the stellar parallax effect, um, just imagine yourself looking straight up from Earth. Like this arrow. It's just going straight up, not even looking at the star. Now, imagine, your, uh, imagine yourself from that same position of Earth, looking at that star. It creates an angle, does it not? We will call this angle, angle theta. Now, let's wait six months later, you're on the opposite end of Earth. Or, more specifically, and again, one astronomical unit away from the sun. Now, let's do the same thing. You're looking up straight from this Earth. Not at the star, but straight up. And, of course, now again, let's look at the star from this Earth. It creates the same, it should create the same angle. And of course we will call it angle theta again. Now what also we will use is the different is the distance uh, the, the two Earths are away from the Sun. So one astronomical unit plus one another astronomical unit equals two astronomical units. Using all of the information that we have learned, like this one over here, how this line is 90 degrees from this line and this angle is 
90 subtracted by this angle, theta, we can use this information to create a formula to calculate how far x, how long x is. This formula that we use is tangent 90 subtracted by theta, which is equals x divided by d. Now, this is a huge convenience to us because to find out x, all we have to do is isolate x from this equation. The new equation that's created is distance times tangent times 90 subtracted by theta. And this is how you find x using the parallax effect. Today, there have been many important advances in astronomy. Most of these discoveries are often brought to life by an increased precision of observation, but born through the innovation and genius of individuals. One such individual was German astronomer and mathematician Frederick William Bessel. He was the first to make precise measurements of refraction of light by the Earth's atmosphere. Refraction is the bending of light rays as they pass at an angle through different substances like glass, water, or air. Another of his accomplishments was to be the first to find a distance to another star, which he did in 1838. He was the first to use a tool known as a stellar parallax. A stellar parallax is an extremely tiny shift in the apparent position of a star when observed from opposite sides of the Earth's orbit. Since the size of the Earth's orbit was known, the observed parallax angle allowed Bessel to calculate the distance to the star 61 Cygni by triangulation. The discovery also provided the most convincing proof that the Earth really moves around the Sun. Now, Michael, take it away. Now, we will be speaking about the sterile stellar parallax and how it was modified after Frederick Bessel. Due to the difficulty of measurement, only 60 stellar parallaxes have been made by the end of 19th century. Most of these were made using some, an instrument called a filer micrometer. Here, we have a picture of a filer micrometer. Now, you may be wondering, well, that looks weird. How do we actually use this? Well, first off, you can see this arrow is pointing to the eyepiece. This is, of course, where you would look down. And here, as this arrow is pointing to, we have the lens. It produces the image that you see. Now we will be speaking about the stellar parallax as it was used in the 20th century. By the dawn of the 20th century, the intervention of the astrographic camera sped up this process. In the 1960s, sophisticated computer technology further increased the speed of cataloging such information. And as a bonus note, um, they actually use the parallax effect in 3D cameras. So let's say you're watching your favorite movie, and those glasses you put on, they actually use the parallax effect to create a, a 3D image. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you learned a thing or two.